guys, Nerdy Noob here, and welcome to a special edition unboxing video. Can you even hear me from over there? <laughs> hey guys, I thought that was funny because this box is giant and it takes up the whole table. Anyways, what's up guys, Nerdy Noob here, and welcome back to another unboxing video. This isn't technically a what's in the box series because I know what's in here. This is from Collector's Case, and recently, probably in, gosh, was it early February sometime, they opened up their popped cases. As you guys know, I've done them a lot on my channel, but their popped cases are usually a random assortment of Funko Pops. It's like mystery box with Funko Pops. And and I think how they usually do I can't really remember, but I'm pretty sure that it comes with four pops and a shirt. Now, they used to have two different options. They would have mint condition and non-mint condition. And I just realized, they tricky, tricky, I swear that that's what it was when I first purchased these. But now when I'm look, as I'm looking at it, they changed it. Okay, they didn't change it. I think it was like that when I ordered it. I just didn't read it well enough. But instead of mint and non-mint, they have boxed and unboxed. Because I saw somebody, somebody sent me a comment that said, oh, I got my pop case. My pops weren't even in the box. So I think that's their way of just combating the issue of some people were buying the non-mint boxes and getting mint boxes, and some people were buying the mint boxes and getting non-mint boxes. So now they've just taken the pops out of the box completely, I guess. I don't really know. That's just what it sounds like. So I bought two of the unboxed boxes for $15 each, and I bought one of the boxed pop. So we'll see how this goes. If this is lame, then it'll just, you know, I just won't buy this again because an unboxed pop to me, I mean, it's fun if you like it because you could put it on your desk, but like, I'm not gonna, in my giveaway boxes, like, what am I supposed to do? Put unboxed pops in the giveaway? Like, that's weird. I just think that's kind of weird. All right, now that I'm done with that spiel, let me give you some really quick pricing before we jump into this. The boxed pop option was $30. The unboxed pop option was $15. Shipping is quite expensive for these guys. I just want to point that out prior. It's Okay, it's not that bad, but it's $10 a box, so I ended up having to pay $90 for this. So there's three in here, one, one boxed, two unboxed, and it's $90. Let's go ahead and check out what we got. I'm gonna have to stand up to open this box because it's so big. All right, once you get the tape over the box, this is what you're gonna see. So this must be, I'm assuming, it over here. Well, I'm glad that they did this because their boxes, like, I like their boxes a lot, but sometimes they don't make it through the shipping process so great. So I'm actually really glad that they put the three boxes in here. Now, I'm assuming if you only got one box, they probably didn't put it in a bigger box, but, you know, since I got three. Okay, I was gonna say I'm gonna assume which ones are which, but they have tags on them. Bam. So... I did the same thing that I always do because I always forget is that I got medium on all of these which I should have gotten other sizes like I should have gotten one medium for me and then like small or large or extra large because that way when I'm doing giveaway shirts like you know I can like give them to people anyways I'm gonna move these over here I know you can kind of see them what should we do first you guys should we do the unboxed ones first yeah, I guess let's do that. Let's do the two unboxed ones. That way we can potentially end this video with happiness and excitement with our boxed version. Okay, so that's how you know that it's actually unboxed because they really for reals took all the pops out of the box because they wouldn't fit in this box, I don't think. That's so interesting. I don't know if I like that concept. Let's check it out and see what we got. This is great though, I guess, if, if you don't care about boxes because there's a lot of you who are out of box collectors. All right. So this bad boy cost me $25. Once you get the tape and you open up the box, this is what you're gonna see. Wait. Why did this card fall out of here? Oh no, spoiler alert. They gave me a card for February's box, but I haven't even received February's box yet. And I totally just kind of spoiled everything that's in it. I'm pretty excited for the box though. I won't show it to you. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, oh, I'm sorry. You couldn't see anything. What the heck? Okay, here we go. Okay, so it looks like I got one pop in a box, and then they put the other pops, they didn't just put them in the, I thought they were just gonna throw them in the box, but they at least left the plastic, so that's nice of them. Oh, the shirt is orange. Oh, interesting, okay. Well, let's do this. Oh no, they didn't, okay, I, they psyched me out. Psych, they cut the, the backs off the pops. 
to show me them. Oh, why did it get so dark all of a sudden? What happened? I turned all my lighting on. Okay, so they psyched me out. This is so interesting, you guys. I don't know what I think. I don't know what I think about this, you guys. I have no idea. The first one we got is from Five Nights at Freddy, which is cool because I do get a lot of people asking for Five Nights at Freddy, Five Nights at Freddy's stuff, but I don't ever have anything. And we got Cupcake. I guess it's easy for me to show you these because they're already out of the box. I must say, I am not a huge fan of Cupcake, only because, and I don't really see this with a lot of Funko Pops, but the because of the shape and stuff, I feel like it's uh, it's almost like a glorified bath toy. Like it's, oh, oh God, it's, uh, it's not, you can't squish it, but I can just tell that it's like, you know, it's hollow and it just, there's a hole on the bottom, which means that it is hollow and that it's basically like a bath toy. But this is a cool little like Funko Pop, I guess. That's interesting. Okay, well, there's pop number one. Pop number two is Deckard from Blade Runner. Oh, sorry. There he is. Uh, I guess I could show you these little cards. Here's the Five Nights at Freddy one with the cupcake. And then here's the Blade Runner set. Blade Runner 2049. And then we got Deckard right here. He looks like an old man Han Solo. Like if, if Hansel had grown old. There you go. Okay. I must say that this is definitely not as exciting when they're not in the boxes. But of course, I'm an inbox collector, so that's probably why. All right, next we got Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. Here's the card. Bam. And here's the pop. See, now what I'm going to have to do is when people win giveaways or if I start selling boxes, I'm going to have to state like, oh, this is good for out-of-box collectors. Because, like, I'd be so disappointed if I was if I made a Dragon Ball Z box and then I put this pop in there and then you guys are like, I'm an in-box collector. Because I know if I was an in-box collector, I wouldn't want to get a Funko Pop that's not in-box. I wish I would have read that better. I don't think I would have bought that option if I would have, like, read that because I definitely didn't read it. I had no idea. All right, the last pop that we got is from Thor Ragnarok. Here's the card. And here's the pop. We got a bobblehead, and this is of Heimdall. Heimdall? Heimdall? I don't actually know how to say his name. So there he is. I actually must say, I, I don't know who this guy is. I still haven't seen Thor Ragnarok. Um, which I feel like I'm going to love, so I don't know why I haven't seen it yet. It just came out on DVD, though. I'm very excited. Blu-ray. So I think I might buy it. I like this pop because he's got a lot of detail. He's just got a lot of things going on, and I do appreciate, like, his cape. His cape looks a little bit 3D printed, but I just like pops when, when... I mean, a lot of the pops that we get are very, very simple, you know? They're like the cupcake. But this one actually has a lot of detail in his outfit and his hair and just everything about him is... Pretty detailed, so I like that. Last item we have is our shirt. We got an orange men's medium. It's a Funko. I guess this is a licensed Funko shirt now. I don't, I don't know, honestly, how real this is. If they're just printing that on or if this really is Funko's shirt. This could be, I guess. This shirt's really stiff. I think this is, if this is a shirt, this is like a gilded and heavy cotton shirt. This, this shirt looks giant for a medium. Ah, but if it is a Funko shirt, that makes sense. It says, you can't spell Funko without fun. It always throws me off when people say Funko. I know that's kind of, I think, what their thing is, but like, I'm so used to saying Funko, Funko. And when I hear people say Funko, I'm like, what? <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> it's probably how everyone feels like, when I say anything. But here's a shirt. Now if this is a licensed Funko shirt, it makes sense of why it looks so big because on the Funko shirts usually I get a small because they fit so weird. I thought in the past that um, the collector's case was kind of making their own shirts, but now I'm, I don't really know now. I don't know if this is a licensed Funko shirt or if they're just making it. I can't imagine, like why would you, why would you print Funko on there if it wasn't licensed, you know? Okay, so that was box number one. <clears throat> I am not gonna rate these because I just don't 
first of all, I don't think I realized when I bought this what I was getting myself into because I don't, I honestly just don't think I would purchase this again. It's just not really my cup of tea. I'm not a huge fan of getting pops out of the box just because, I mean, you just, I don't know. It's just really hard because people want their pops in a box. I know some people really don't care. I'm telling you, if you guys don't care, then this is the box for you. But for $25, I must say, let me just say one thing. In their old situation, they used to sell for $25, that's including shipping, uh, non-mint pops, but they would still be in a box, right? Now they're, they're charging the same amount for no box, and I just don't know how I feel about that, to be honest, I don't know. All right, here we go. Let's do the second out of box collection. Let's see what we got. Once you cut the tape, you open up the box. Oh my gosh, why do they keep giving me February things? What a spoiler alert. This is what you're gonna see. We got our cards. Oh, I got a blue shirt this time, so it's the same shirt, but it's blue, so that's cool. All right, here we go. First pop that we got is Batman, Robot Batman. Here's the card. That's what it looks like. And here's the pop. Oh, this one's creepy. There you go. That's actually kind of cool. It's a little bit creepy, but it's kind of cool. But a little bit creepy. Then we got Jabba the Huts. Here's the uh, set they came in. I can't believe they took the time to cut the labels off the boxes, to be honest. I mean, it's cool. I'm glad they did that. But it's interesting. Oh, okay. I think I actually might bring this to work. I... <laughs> I kind of have like a Star Wars section at my desk. Whoa, he's a little bit heavy on the head because of his head. He's a bobblehead. There you go. Actually, this one's pretty neat. Not gonna lie, kind of like that one. Next, we got oops, Philip from South Park. There's the card. Okay, this is funny. I haven't opened any of the South Park bobbleheads. I've gotten a couple, but I didn't realize that they bobble from the mouth. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I had no idea. That's so funny. Uh, oh my gosh, you guys. Look how weird it looks from the back. Okay, so we got Philip from South Park. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. That is so hilarious. And the last pop that we got is a pop from the Smurfs. We got Astro Pop. And I actually like this because you guys know I'm, I have some kind of weird infatuation with Funko Pops that have weird things on their head. And this guy, this guy has a giant head thing on. Kind of like the 11 underwater, but this one looks bigger. Actually, I don't know if this one's bigger. I think that this pop is just smaller than the 11 pop. I don't actually know because I didn't open the 11 pop. This thing isn't glued on very well, though. You can, As you can see, you can kind of, it's starting to come out. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not, but I feel like if you pulled hard enough, you could probably pull this thing off. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but there you go. Smurf, Astro Smurf. Okay. For some reason, I found this one a little bit more enjoyable than the other one, I guess. Don't know why, really, but um, not too bad. I like the Jabba and the South Park one. I like the Smurf one, too. That one's pretty cool. And I actually like the Robot Batman. I guess I did like that one a little bit better than the other one. I'm trying to figure out, like, what I'm going to do with all these ones that I don't really want to keep. I don't really know. Okay. Well, let's see what this mint... Oh, they don't even call them mint anymore. Just boxed. So that... Doesn't make me feel good. I better not have gotten a bunch of Funko Pops that are damaged because I paid $40 for this. That's actually quite high for four pops in a shirt. I mean, I know it seems good, but if we're just getting random pops that aren't really valuable, then it's not the greatest. Okay, let's do this. Let's end on a good note, yeah! You guys ready? Once you cut the tape and you open up the box, you move this, you move this, you move this. Oh, I think we got a special one because there's one that's like in plastic. This is what you're gonna see. So four pops and a shirt. It looks like we got, is that the same color shirt? No, we got a red shirt this time. Oh, they just had all the colors. They had all the different colors. Okay, let's check this out. I'm already a teeny bit disappointed because these pops are not really in the greatest condition. Ah, 
Dang it. <sighs> okay. The first one we got is a Masters of the Universe pop. It's Man at Arms. I have this one. I just put it in my giveaway, I think. This is a specialty series. So this is one of those ones that uh, only like the small mom and pop shop stores can get. There you go. I'm not going to take any of these out of the box because this video is already super long. But there's the side view of him. And this is the set that he comes from. This box is in okay condition, but there is... Um, I am, well, I'm going to be nitpicky about this, guys, because that's just me. But there's actually a crease right here. It's a crease and a tear, to be honest. And there's a tear right there on that corner. The next pop that we got is The Witch from Snow White. She's holding a skull apple. There's the skull apple. Side view. And then here's the uh, set that she comes from. This pop too came a teeny bit damaged. Uh, a lot of the corners are kind of dented, but the one here is dented and kind of ripping a little bit. A little bit of tearage going on on this corner. This one's not terrible. Next, we got Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy. This one's cool. I don't think I've ever received a Star-Lord Funko Pop. I really like his outfit in this. I don't know if you can see it. I'll show you the side view, but he's wearing his, it's like a, it's a red outfit and his shirt says, yeah, baby. And here's the set that he comes from. So I'm trying to figure out how to make this lighting good. This pop has some tears on the corner, the two front corners. Um, a little bit of creasing going on in the back, but other than that, it's it's not too bad. Okay, the last pop that we got, we got, oh, we got a limited chase edition. Cool. So we got a limited chase edition of Top Cat from Hanna-Barbera, and this is Benny the Ball. So they put this one in a plastic um, pop container. I will be 100% honest, though, and tell you that I can see... Underneath this plastic container, I can actually see some creasing and some dents, which kind of sucks. Um, I don't know if you can see through the box right here, but there's actually a crease right here in, in the actual box. Um, the corner is actually torn a little bit too. So there's Benny the Ball, and here's the set that he comes from. So Benny the Ball normally is wearing a white jacket and he's like a purple cat, which I actually kind of like that color scheme. But this one is um, blue with a pink jacket. So that's the limited chase edition. Now, that is cool that we got the chase. I will be honest to say that I'm excited that that happened. I don't know if that was automatically the case. If every boxed set came with a chase or some kind of um, limited edition something, I have no idea. I would have to go look to see what they kind of talked about. But I'm excited we got the chase. Again, I'm a little bit disappointed that <clears throat> even this chase box is not in the best condition. I had kind of told myself a while ago that I just need to get my, like, take all my desires away when it comes to Funko Pops coming in great condition, especially with this set, just because um, based off of my past experience, you know, I, I know I'm not going to get the Pops in the best condition. I'm so excited that we got a limited chase. It's very difficult, I found, to get limited chases of anything. You really have to, like, hunt them down, and uh, I've kind of given up that thought process with that, but I am glad that they did protect it even more and put it in this plastic thing, which I actually just bought a bunch of these so that when I ship Pops, I can put them in these plastic things, specifically if they're, like, chase or limited edition or whatever so yeah okay so that's all the boxes this is going to be a really long video which is good and bad i am not going to rate any of these i must say that if you are an out-of-box collector then the out-of-box option might be good for you but i don't even know if that's worth 25 dollars once you take a pop out of the box it just diminishes the value a lot to me maybe it's just in my eyes but I usually price pops at $10. You know what I did want to do, and we'll do this very, very quickly. I'm going to try to see how much these pops cost on Amazon because sometimes you can get these actually fairly cheap to see if it's kind of worth it. Now, we did get the chase, so I feel like that's going to increase the value of this box, but if we didn't get the chase, what would it be? And I, I'm assuming people got these for the chance to get the chase or the limited edition ones, but even with that, let's see how much that's worth. Okay, so Man at Arms, 
1421 that's actually pretty good i thought it was going to be cheaper to be honest so that's good all right witch pop ten dollars and i'm going to change my pricing okay so mana arms i actually found one for thirteen dollars the witch is ten dollars star lord pop is seven dollars i'm actually looking at a mixture of ebay and amazon because I realized I buy a lot of pops off eBay because you can actually get really good pricing if you kind of scope it out. You have a lot more options. Okay, Benny the Ball Chase. Okay, it's going for $18.40. Looks like it's the best offer. Okay, so $18.40. That's not as good as I thought. So the pops alone are worth about $48.40. We got the shirt, which will give $10. I think it I don't know if that shirt's worth $10. So this box is worth $58.40 and we pay $40. So $18.40. So that's good value. Um, so I must say that I am impressed with the box ones. I wish that the, all the pops came in a little bit better condition. I feel like they changed their options so that they could give us pops that weren't in mint condition anymore, but were in the box. So I don't know how much, like, how I like that, but I like pops in the box. I am an inbox collector, so if they give this option again, I probably would just stick with this option and maybe just get a couple of these instead of getting the unbox ones, because I really, the unbox ones are tripping me out a little bit. Like, I don't really know what to do with them. I mean, I'm just gonna put them, like, give in the giveaway and stuff. I just feel terrible. Like, I just don't know. I have no idea. Anyways, uh, that's it. That's all I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go ahead and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there, and you should subscribe. Let us know in the comment section below what you guys thought about these boxes. Would you get the out-of-box option, or would you only get the in-box option? What are your thoughts about the two options? This is different than what they've done before. Let me know down below. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions are blocked or sent to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up shortly. Before we go, we must do the video shout out. Today's video shout out goes to Ricky Mason. Ricky Mason and your nine year old daughter, which you didn't put her name, so I don't know what her name is. You guys get that video shout out. Thank you so much for watching and commenting on my videos and thank you so much for supporting my channel. Your comment that you wrote was extremely nice and I, I guess I should actually just talk like me in this, um, but your comment was really, really nice and I really appreciate it and I'm glad that I have inspired you and your daughter to make your own channel. I will definitely check it out. Thank you again for just just all of your support and uh, to your nine-year-old daughter I don't know what your name is but thank you I love when kids watch my channel because I definitely have more of an adult audience which is totally fine because I like you adults too I like adults but I also like kids so I like everybody but I always think it's interesting when kids uh, like to watch my channel because I don't have I don't think I have too many of them on here so to Ricky and your daughter your nine-year-old daughter you guys get the video shout out shout out to you Ricky and your nine-year-old daughter shout out to you all right guys hope you guys have an amazing day and i will see you guys next time bye